All right, a lot of people say it's a bubble that's about to burst. You wouldn't know it in the latest uh, existing home sales, uh, up about 2%, the second month of increases. Anthony Shea joins us right now, the Loan Depot chairman and CEO. Um, it, this was fairly broad-based by everything you could tell, Anthony. What do you make of where housing stands mm -hmm. right now? Well, what I like to tell people, Neil, is that instead of sizzling hot, it's still hot. We're on pace to this country to sell 7 million homes this year, which is the all-time all high since uh, the financial crisis. So it's still very, very good. So supply seems to be opening up a little bit here. That can help a little bit because prices dip from record levels, even though they're still up there. How does the, the next few months look to you? Well, we're up 7% month over month, but we're still down, I believe, 12% uh, year over year. So although it's going the right direction, but certainly with the slight increase in interest rates and certainly the 18 or 19% uh, appreciation in real estate year over year, that's got some buyers on the sidelines and evaluating whether or not this is the right time to jump in. And we also need to realize we're at the end of the buying season uh, a bit. You know, obviously it's it's the sp spring shoppers and summer buyers and we're getting to the fall months now. And certainly with, with the current, uh, you know, world events and the pandemic with the new virus uh, strain, it'd be really interesting to see whether or not this is just a, a temporary stall or it's gonna get back to sizzling hot again. But nevertheless, the, the market is still very strong. You know, you raise a very good point, Anthony, as you usually do, talking about other dynamics at play here. And I do think the, the virus and the spikes in cases might give some people pause. It certainly does when it comes to buying cars or just traditional, um, you know, retail store activity. I imagine it would apply to those looking to buy a house. But uh, there is some encouraging news on that front with this FDA approval of the Pfizer vaccine um, and, and the fact that we are seeing, maybe folks are scared, but we are seeing more of the unvaccinated getting vaccinated. That's got to be a good backdrop, I would think, for housing. Um, but what do you think? It, it is. But, but certainly, if you, you know, look at equities and you look at some of the other uh, economic signs, it's, it's pointing to quite a bit of uncertainty. Uh, certainly, 60 days ago, I, I think there's a lot more positive sentiment than it is today. And, you know, I'm, I'm not an economist. Uh, I run a very large uh, financial services firm, and we're watching that carefully. You know, our uh, forbearance as well as our defaults are well in check. So the underlying uh, consumer is still very strong. I think right now the home buyers are being very selective. I think they are uh, very uh, diligent about whether or not uh, they want to jump in at this point. Interest rates are up slightly, still historical low mm -hmm. interest rates, but certainly that 18 percent year over year appreciation certainly has a lot of people thinking. Got it. Uh, Anthony Shea, great catching up with you. The Loan Depot uh, chairman and, and CEO I'll give you a balance of where things stand right now. Good for real estate for now, by the way, I might point out very good for stocks, period. We'll have a lot more on that after this.